I'm Christian Howes with Creative Strings Academy, and I want to talk a little bit about effects. Now, I've got this loop that I created where I'm using some effects, and then when I take an improvised solo, I can use more effects. So what I'll do is I'll just go over them one by one. First of all, this is my basic clean sound, and I'm getting a reverb through my amplifier. And I've got the EQ basically set flat, and I'm using an acoustic guitar type amplifier. I happen to be using a Fishman Loudbox Pro, but this is my clean sound, just has a little reverb. If you hear, when I stop the note, you'll hear the reverb rings out. And it may even sound kind of noticeable to you when I'm playing by myself. But when I play over top of the loop, it really helps fatten up my sound. It's not so noticeable, that reverb, when you play it over top of the band or over top of the loop. So that's the first thing I would say is make sure you've got reverb. Now, if I didn't have a decent amp with reverb on it, then I could use the reverb on this unit right here. If you see here, there's a room setting for reverb and it goes up to 50, I believe. And then it starts the hall setting for reverb. So I can use either of those. On this particular unit, I feel like the reverb does not sound as good as it does on the amp. So I'm using the reverb from my amp. The next effect I'll talk about is delay. My clean sound doesn't have any delay, it just has reverb. But in certain circumstances, I think it's cool to use delay in sort of the same way that you use reverb to fatten your sound. I'll let you hear the clean sound with reverb. You can hear the ambience, but you don't hear a delay. Now I'm gonna play it with delay. So I'm just gonna step on my delay pedal. And you hear the delay. I'll play a little more with the delay. If I keep playing, hopefully you won't really notice the delay. But if I do that over top of the band or the loop in this case, probably you won't notice the delay that much. Pretty subtle. So how do I create this delay effect? Well, within this particular delay unit, we've got three things. One is called time. So if I make time longer, then you'll hear a longer distance. Feedback is how long it will continue to come back. I'll make the feedback longer. And finally, we have the level of the delay. So that's how loud the delay is. So generally what I do for sort of a solo sound to have a delay that is subtle, but add something to my sound is I'm gonna have the level not be too loud. And I'm gonna have the feedback not be too long, but the time itself, the time can be longer than you might think, so. Feedback's too long there and the delay is a little bit too loud for my tastes. That's about right for me. So I'm gonna see how that sounds now over the loop. Okay, so now let's talk about overdrive, also known as distortion. Here's my clean sound followed by my distortion sound. And now I'm gonna let you hear the two of those over top of the vamp. So you can hear the overdrive. On overdrive, 
we've got a few different settings again. We've got level, which just creates how loud the, the distortion is. Right here is my level. Drive, which is gonna make how distorted it is. Let's just experiment with drive. Now a lot of drive. And finally, we have on this pedal what's known as tone. So obviously that's gonna be how much highs do you hear versus how much lows do you hear. So if I take the tone all the way up here, it sounds like this. If we take it all the way down, it sounds like this. We wanna go somewhere in the middle. depending on how much you want to fuzz out. Now, obviously you can combine delay with overdrive and you can even add wah-wah to the mix. So for the wah-wah, I'll step on my wah pedal and by stepping my toe down first, I'll get that kind of wah effect. And sometimes people will sort of randomly use the wah pedal for each note. And sometimes they'll just sort of rock on it. And if we mix that with uh, our uh, strumming. Or we mix it with our solo sound. Add a little delay. And those are some of the main effects that I use. There are other effects that you can use, but with each effect, you're gonna have similar ways that you can sort of adjust different parameters and sort of have fun with it. So I encourage you to have fun with effects. And whenever I'm looking for gear like this, whether it's effects pedals, loop pedals, amplifiers, um, electric violins, of course I endorse Yamaha violins, I endorse D'Addario strings, and I always shop at the electric violin shop. So you can go to electricviolinshop.com forward slash creative strings. You'll actually get a special discount and uh, they'll know that I sent you. To learn more and to get more follow-ups on these great videos, please go to christianhouse.com forward slash education. Thanks.